as you can see, they're not an elite brigade, so I think this will be the only chance they get of uh, getting close to an England player. Andy's now a uh, lifetime free bar of the club because there is a. I think I walk on water here now. I've, I've been told I'll never have to buy another drink. Uh, I've this like never normally speak to me normally, but they're all my best mates. Swing! It's a very intense atmosphere, you know, leading up to all test matches. It's actually really nice to have a chat with guys that just play the game through the love and, and just have a, you know, have a social really and takes your mind off, you know, what's going to be a massive challenge at the weekend. So I think it's fantastic. Uh, I think, you know, I definitely know all the guys are enjoying it and, and so are the boys. You know, speaking to some of the boys at the table, it, it kind of takes me back to, to my loan out days when I was at Worthing and Anisha and even before that. And, you know, the, the sort of true spirit and, and values in rugby and that you can see in all these boys that why they play, they, they play to to have fun and um, enjoy themselves and yeah they're having the odd beer which is always you know standard with rugby but um, yeah it's, it's a really great evening. <laughs> Years. I think what Canterbury have tried to do this evening, you know, is really keep that link. It was really, really good, yeah. We appreciate the guys uh, giving their time for us. And uh, we really appreciate everything from Canterbury. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity, so thanks a lot. And uh, we look forward to cheering the England guys on Saturday, knowing a little bit more about them.